What do you reckon, Dr. Agoncello, is at stake with the continued delay in project restoration at Cornwall? Now, all of you might remember that I came out very early in all these exercises and offered an advice to Jamaica that the University of the West Indies must purchase Cornwall Regional. The, the government should have offered Cornwall Regional to the University of the West Indies instead of spending all these billions of dollars running around the circle. And yes, services are maintained. Eh? The services are maintained because you have very vibrant staff. I couldn't work at Cornwall Regional right now. I'm going to go crazy. And I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I'm not like that, you know? And I have my colleagues that I left at Cornwall Regional still working hard with Cornwall Regional. These are the people that have maintained Cornwall Regional, not the government. Huh? Now, if Cornwall Regional is not going to be sold to the University of the West Indies, for example, then bring in a foreign buyer like St. Luke Hospital and so on and so forth. Let them buy the structure and let them turn it into a teaching hospital, which will compete with UE in providing education, um, research, and um, uh, uh, patient management. Now, Dr. Tufton, any response to that? If, no, no um, I'm not finished, almost done. If this is done, Annually, Conwell Regional Hospital will bring in more than the minister is saying that he's being spent over this period. Let's have the minister respond to that. Dr. Tufton? Well, first of all, those, those suggestions are bordering on absurdity, frankly speaking. Um, the truth is that uh, any suggestion about selling Cornwall is, is contrary to government policy and Cornwall being used as an income generating facility is contrary to government policy. This is an institution that provides services free of cost in keeping with our healthcare policy. It is vital to the region. And frankly speaking, the distinction needs to be made between making a mistake with patients' lives or health and any errors that may have been made or lessons learned on the building, which is why I made the clarification earlier. Cornwall Regional as a service provider has not made any mistakes. In fact, the team has done exceptionally well in managing on the ground and responding to the, cons the health concerns of the citizenry. Well, I have been a big proponent of first class, first world medical facilities in Western Jamaica. As to my knowledge, we do not have anything akin to a Tony Twaits Wing or a Andrews Memorial Hospital in Kingston. I mean, I if if this facility, I don't know to what extent government would be um, re receptive to that proposal, but I believe that there is certainly a business case for a private investment. Uh, does have to be Cornwall Regional. I mean, I don't see why something can't be built from scratch to provide that kind of service here in the West and to provide first world, first class, high end um, private medical care for this um, section of Jamaica. I don't see why not, because we do need a first class facility here in the West. Many, many persons sometimes have to either fly out of Jamaica are flying to Kingston for, for certain services. We do need that. I, I, as I said, I don't know if government would be receptive to the transformation of Cornwall Regional Hospital, and perhaps that might not necessarily be the best fit for that because of the kind of investments that it would require to transform those aging assets at Cornwall. We don't even know what's happening with the existing build out, but there is a business case, I believe, for a brand new facility.